Hi, thank you so much for meeting with me today. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your profession? Sure thing. So I'm a research scientist here at CSU. I'm in engineering and um, for the most part, I do all sorts of different research, which is what I love about my job. I teach people how to, how to do research. And then I also do research on experiential education in engineering. And so creating those experiences for students and then analyzing the impacts of those programs and how they help our students get into engineering and stay excited about engineering. Why are you interested in biomedical engineering? Yeah, so I'm interested in biomedical engineering because I've always loved math and science and I feel like that's something that I've always been passionate about. And one thing that I'm really looking at going into, especially in college and like my future, is going into health equity. I feel like that's been super important in making the healthcare industry more accessible for lower income people and people in different countries. And I feel like that's been something I've been super passionate about because I feel like healthcare is a fundamental human right and I feel like it's been super controversial these past few years about having not accessible healthcare, so I feel like it's something that I really want to focus on going into, making it more accessible for people who need it. That's awesome. I'm so excited for your, your future. That's going to be great. What's been your favorite part about like biomedical engineering and like I know that you talked about chemical engineering and like your path through that. What's been your favorite part like through everything? Oh, so many <laughs> favorite parts. <laughs> My favorite things have sort of evolved over time because for a while I was super excited to do like all hands-on lab research, growing mm -hmm. cells in the lab. Big bioreactors and chemical engineering were really fun. And now here in this role, I've had a lot of cool experiences um, bringing, bringing outside the classroom experiences to students and that makes me really excited. What would you tell your younger self? I would tell my younger self, never say never <laughs> because my path has meandered a bit and there were things that I thought I didn't want to do. When I was an undergrad, I was like, boy, I don't want to go to grad school at all, never. And then like a year later, I was like, I want to go to grad school. And then I got a PhD. Um, and then similarly, when I was in grad school, I was thinking, I don't want to stay in academia. I don't want to teach. And yeah. then actually, <laughs> you know, what I wanted to do totally changed. You just don't really know where your path is going to take you and your goals can change. And just go with it. Yeah. And what about when you go to college? Tell me about that. This year I actually got matched with Yale University through QuestBridge. It's a program that gives a full ride to low-income students. So it was a super great opportunity and I'm super excited next year and I got to interview with a student who actually knew people in biomedical engineering there and she was talking about like all the cool things that they do. So Bryn, my final advice for you would be to just keep following your passion and taking advantage of all those opportunities like you have been and you're gonna do awesome. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for meeting with me. I definitely will take your advice for all this stuff and yeah. Good job. Okay. All right, I think that's it. Cool. Yes. Awesome. You did awesome. Great job. You did amazing. <laughs>